This is the contour line and direct observation station. So you're going to do two sketches. One will be done with chalk and you are going to be looking at the outline of the object. So one may think that an apple is round, but it is not completely round. Contour lines have little to no detail. However, on this apple, I would definitely bring in this line that's creating that circle and make the stem. Okay, so not a lot of detail. If you wanted to draw where that reflections piece is, you could do that too to help create the shape. Now, for your direct observation drawing, you may want to switch your object. Definitely label. This is contour or outline. If you want to do it on another piece of paper, you can, or you can flip it, whatever you prefer. Make sure you grab some chalk that shows up on the paper. So for direct observation drawing, your eye looks at the object more than on your paper. And you definitely want to look at the outer edge, but like the beginning of the year when we grabbed that object, we drew what we were looking at, not what we assume or know in our minds to be. Like the apple, for instance. We all know an apple is round, but if you were to draw that apple without it being in front of you, it would be very flat probably very symbolic of what an apple looks like versus an apple that has all the different bumps and lumps like this gourd. So I shouldn't see a hard straight line. It should be broken, it should be sketchy. I tend to do the outline and then I like to come back in and work on the ridges. Gourds can be very challenging when it comes to drawing, so don't get frustrated, just do your best. I tend to draw the shape of things before I worry about it making it look good. So the ridges are kind of like a 2D shape or a long oval. And then this part is pretty open and then these ridges come on in. The best thing about um, chalk is you can always just kind of blend it out. This is going to be the shadow to make it look like it's sitting on the ground. I picked gourds and apples and pumpkins because in theory it's supposed to be fall even though here in Texas it's like 100 degrees. Alright, get started on your direct observation and contour drawings.